I grew up uh, in a very poor environment uh, and also come from a poor family, very modest beginning. Daily life is a struggle because of limited income um, and so I did experience hunger on a daily basis and the culture in many of the traditional societies is such that uh, children are not always given good, good diet and, uh, and children are expected to get by. For, for reasons that I, cannot, I could not comprehend, and I still don't, um, uh, my mother believed that um, through education, things could get better. I, I don't think she imagined uh, the journey I traveled was possible then, but she thought uh, we could get out of that situation through education. Around 1960 or so, I attended this school for the first time, and the first grade I started in was grade four. And this is actually the classroom where, where I attended my fourth grade. And then moved to fifth grade at the end of the first term because uh, the teachers thought I was good enough to move to fifth grade. And so went through fifth grade and sixth grade all the way to eighth grade in this school. And then in college, went in as a freshman of course, and. And so I went in to speak to uh, a counselor and the person I spoke to was the head of the plant science department. Uh, his name is Burhane Gebrakida. Um, and, and he convinced me and that I would have great opportunities studying plant sciences. After uh, finishing college, I just really were very fortunate in having had the opportunity to work with three premier plant breeders in my view, Brahane in Ethiopia, and then John Axtell here, and then when I start working overseas um, in the Sudan with Lee House. And it was a hard decision for me to leave the program in Sudan and come into Purdue. There was a, a job opportunity here at Purdue, um, but I think the determining factor is uh, uh, my wife wanted to stay here. And, and she, the way she saw it was I didn't need to be having the family live in Africa to do the job that I wanted. And so I focused on, on hybrid improvement uh, with the idea that uh, the, the Sudan was a suitable place for seed production, a suitable place to uh, uh, initiate a hybrid seed industry, um, and a suitable place for uh, marketing of, of hybrid seed and inputs including fertilizers and so on. Sorghum is a very important crop for Africans. So it's used for, uh, the grain is used for making bread and porridges and it could be parboiled and, and used like rice. And then uh, the, the stock is used for uh, reinforcing huts, uh, building fences, and so people uh, totally uh, use the total crop for, for their uh, daily life. The sense of purpose in, in agricultural research, uh, international agricultural research, is to, to recognize that the research breakthroughs and the publication of results and so on are, are not an end by themselves. Millions of dollars are being invested in various international research programs to serve a purpose, and that purpose is to uh, serve humanity, eradicate hunger, and feed people. And so in our case, uh, from day one, uh, that was a motivating force for us. 